Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Gail, and today I have some Happy Mail unboxing. This is actually birthday mail. This is from Haley. Now, we were all caught up in the end of the... Mine's January 18th, hers is February 19th. So, it comes right after the holidays. You know, you're busy, you're finishing swaps, it's out of control, everything's just nuts. So... I thought we weren't going to send each other a lot of birthday mail, but this is a big box. But I'm actually almost done with hers. So, I'm really excited. Look at this cute paper. I'm trying not to rip it to shreds too, too much. So that I could reuse some of it. Or put it in my journal. Or sometimes I'll laminate them. And use them as like a page marker or something in my journal. Super cute wrapping paper. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to try to rip just this one in because I really like this paper. She have to tell me where she got that. I'm just gonna use the paper that I have and hope for the best. I'm trying not to walk into Hobby Lobby at the moment because, or any of those stores really. And I'm just trying not to spend money. No buy 2020. I'm gonna go back to it. Now my birthday cards, my birthday gift cards are done. You guys, I'm sorry I'm on frame if I'm having the worst time getting this out of here. In the meantime, enjoy my cat. Being silly, that's Cod. He is seven months old. I think I should have opened this part off camera. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to the paper, too. Oh my word, and I know this is loud, guys. I'm so sorry. I might cut this part out. So, we've had quite the weekend here in Atlanta. Um, so, th today's um, Monday. Thursday we were flooding and it was insane and it was like 70 degrees and then Thursday and Friday was flooding. Friday it got super cold. There was a little bit of, I don't know, I saw a sleet when I was out up in the northern suburbs. I was out running some errands in Canton and it was snowing there. So when they said we were going to get a dusting of snow Saturday, I didn't really think anything of it. I thought it was going to be like the snow I saw up there and then we got snowed in so saturday we got snowed in it was insane i actually loved my free day though because i was supposed to go out of town that day but we got snowed in so i got to stay home which i'll have to go saturday but it's still you know it's kind of magical for atlanta to get a snow day so i'm gonna try not to rip anything that might be in here like i almost literally just did <clears throat> I'm good at cutting boxes with just tape though. Okay, so I'm going to move the box to the side. She has made this card that's super cute. So just all these different um, paper strips as candles. And she's done. It's really, oh, it's cool. So I want to say she mod podged it or something. That it's really, it's like interesting feeling. She, it's super cute. She's got some, oh, that's genius. So smart. She's using um, some stickles as flames here that's super cute and then she's got celebrate it all puffed up on all kinds of dimension or celebrate super cute like in um balloons glitter balloons so i'll probably read that off camera and it's really cute she's got an embossed sentiment in here that says happy and a really cute pink color of embossing powder she's got really cute tissue paper her packaging is always on point i'm sure you saw the last video where her sprinkles and I mean, her sprinkles, her sequins were amazingly packaged and better than anything I've ever seen in my life. And see, like this tissue paper, I might save it and um, laminate some because then I can use it as a bookmarker, page marker in my journal. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm sorry with um, all the loud stuff, but she has oh, okay, so totally makes sense. She's doing the birthday hat challenge. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that she showed on her Instagram. I'm sure they're super hard to send without them getting smashed to bits. This box did look a little smashed on the outside. Okay, but it's super cute. So it's got super cute. I am curious how she did this little. So she, and I, okay. <clears throat> this little, I'm going to call it a bow. And it's just really cool and kind of wavy and curly at the end. And you know, sometimes twine does that when you cut it but she's used it to her advantage here and I just really love the puffiness and it's so cute and it's such a good idea to use up some of that trim that sometimes you know you would have to put glue on it or something 
if you didn't want it to fray like that but that's a super cute way to make to work it to your advantage and it's really fluffy it's got lots of layers and she's got this really cute holographic gem it's like teal or minty teal cute and of course all these little trims are amazing some pom-pom trim and she's got some cute this is like a velvety ribbon and look she's put the little hearts down here as like little oh, cute on it so cute and some really cute star trim super super cute and then she's got a tag on it let's celebrate you okay so that's actually the tag so super cute and I just love her trim down here this is cute ruffle trim that I've never seen that before in just the happiest yellow and this is this is, is this a sequins trim or that is super cute like so cute so it's these square um, blue you know like a green blue little sequin trim I've never seen that before so so stinking cute and I love this um, paper with the flamingo that's super cute so thank you Haley that's really cute I'm looking forward because I'm gonna do one now so I'm gonna do one for her birthday so super 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 excited okay oh my gosh she's so sweet so we have a little chat going and with me and Mika and um, and Haley and I have been wanting these I got the wax seals obviously I sent them well they don't know it yet but I sent them some in their Valentine's mail it'll be getting there Wednesday and I told them how I would like I was cheap and I didn't buy the little furnace thing that like holds your spoon and uh, I actually went to Ace and made one myself but anyway I was saying how I, it's like so slow or whatever and then I would like to try some of the ones for the glue gun so the, the glue gun I use most of the time is just this little one but I do have one that has big sticks it just gives out too much glue I'm not a super huge fan of it um, but I think I will dedicate that one now to just bigger projects and using as a wax seal and she's got it in this really cute holographic little pencil pouch which I will obviously be able to use for some of my crafty supplies and she has a really super cute multi multicolored thread tassel here the thread is actually really soft I love it so Haley did you make the tassel she probably made the tassel because she is extra so thank you all this stuff I will use cut up oh I love these are my favorite scissors whenever I see these at Tuesday morning I get them and I've actually never seen um, this color but they're by American Crafts so she might have got these at Joann's or just wherever but I love my little cut up scissors and I have a couple of them but the I probably use these the most and this is the same size and so I'm really happy to have a, a fresh really sharp pair because now I can kind of if I get new scissors I'll downgrade this to stuff that's like yucky or you know what I mean like I try not to use um, I try to just use good scissors and then for everyday scissors for something I don't need exact cut I just use my little Fiskars these go on clearance for like 75 cents after school every year so I always pick up a couple pair of those but anyway I digress <clears throat> Look at her super cute paper. Okay, I can't mail her box until I get some super cute paper. So this rainbow ribbon is amazing. Super big ribbon. And she's got some really, I love, I have never seen all the stickers she's getting. Super unique. And some little, a kissy emoji and a shades emoji with some star balloons. Really cute. She's so good at bows. I really am not great with bows. But I love the super cool, colorful um, sprinkle paper. Alright, let's see if I cannot destroy it too much. I could make like a little collage of paper that she sent me. So I always, I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. I'm not going to save the whole entire thing of paper, but I might use it in my planner to make a bookmark, something so that I have a way of keeping the paper. So I'm trying to cut the tape on this one. I'm sorry, I know I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, off the frame. She's really good at wrapping. Okay, this is taped a little bit. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should open everything first, but then I, I don't know. I feel like I want people to get my honest reaction because I can't really hide my reactions very well. So you know it's honest reaction. Oh my gosh, never even seen those in my whole entire life. Really, where are you getting all this cool stuff? Where are you shopping at, girl? Okay, so these are recollections. Those are from Michaels, and this is like my absolute favorite color 
of all time. I love it. This is like my jam right here. So these match super, they're so cute. And these big clips and they have some holographic um, tassel, like pleather, fake leather, little tassels. And these are really cute alpha stickers. And I don't have any that are this small. So I'm really happy to have these in my stash. I will definitely use those. Look at all this beautiful wrapping. Oh my gosh, you know what? I should be taking pictures of everything before I open it. And that is where I'm learning as I go. And now I feel bad that I didn't take a picture of the box before I opened it or the last little thing that I opened. Super cute, super, super cute. Okay, I think I can put that back. Okie doke. So really, really cute packaging. So it's just an envelope. I'm sure something, you know, obviously you don't want it to break if it's glass or whatnot. So she's kept it in the envelope, but really dress it up with some super cute holographic sparkle paper and a really cute, you know, just cut apart here on some party balloon animals with a heart and just some wrap. I love the look of this um, thread. It just brings out the green little balloons and the sentiment and it's super cute. And then on the bow for the enclosure, she has put one of these little hearts, which I have some because I bought the paper cherries that month. And I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I hoarded, I used a few of them this year, but I hoarded a lot of them for my stash. So that maybe I should have not left them in my Valentine's stuff because maybe that is something that I could use. So like here, she used it on birthday mail. Duh. I just, I'm not great at, <clears throat> I don't know. I tend to, once I finish a holiday, I'm done. It's already in storage. I'm over it. Um, okay. I think the best way is going to be, I'm going to cut into that envelope. Oops. And it's in another one. That's okay. It's really heavy. When I saw this box weigh three pounds, I was like, what the heck is she sending me? I was like, well, actually it was over three pounds. <gasps> Super cute. It's glass and it's my color. It says, I love you to the moon and back. And I will definitely, I'm just going to keep this at my craft desk because I like having little trays. If I'm working on little small bits of ephemera or little pieces that I want to keep somewhat close together. And I literally just cleaned off on my snow day. I got sick of looking at my junky corner of my desk. That's my catch all. You couldn't even see the bottom of the desk of it. Now it's all cleaned off. So I will have a place that I can put this when I'm crafting. And when I'm not using it, it'll be safe in this little space. So I'm gonna take a picture. I wish I was smart enough to really like take stills from the video, but I think I might, I don't know. I talk so fast, it's, it's not hard. Look at this beautiful package. Oh my gosh, Haley, you really outdid yourself with the packaging, it is so cute. And how am I gonna go about this? So it's a really cute sprinkle paper. It says, happy birthday. And it's got the same little um, emoji stickers that are so cute. So, and they're, you know, textured and they're just really super cute. Super, super cute. I'm gonna see if I can get this off. Some really nice glitter tool. And I'm gonna try not to mess this up too much. I know I'm going off frame to open these, but I'm trying to just cut the tape and not the paper per se. And I also don't want to scratch what is in here. Yes, okay. So it's a coloring book. Oh cool, Rainforest Escape. So this would be a good opportunity to just bust out all my awesome, awesome, I wonder if I could even watercolor on this. This seems like super high quality. This says one sided perforated premium art paper for 10 huge fold out drawings. That is amazing. Oh, so these fold outs are like posters pretty much, but it's really, I've never seen a coloring book printed on this high quality of paper before. And it's so pretty. And this is going to be super relaxing. I like to color. It's something I can do in front of the TV. Or if I'm just watching TV or if I don't feel like necessarily crafting or being, oh, look at these beautiful hummingbirds, crafting or being at my craft desk, then I can still be doing something creative. 
And I also like to take it like if I'm camping or um, away for the weekend. I don't know. I just, I take my coloring with me because it's fun. I haven't colored in a while, but I needed a coloring book. So this is awesome. I love it. And then you open it up so they become big. Look how pretty. That is so cool. And oh, so like orchids, I guess. Really pretty flowers. And then some of them fold out. So that is really cool. That'll be me. I'll be Zed and I'll be surrounded by all the beauty. So thank you so much, Haley, for thinking of me and all of these awesome gifts. I really, really appreciate all the time and effort you put into all this beautiful packaging and wrapping. It's absolutely gorgeous. I feel very spoiled and I look forward to sending your mail. I'm going to really try to send it Friday, but it might be just a little bit late, but that's okay. I know she understands and I love everything. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. If not, we'll see if Haley can answer them. And I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to come join me and I'll see you in the next video.